Hi again everybody, uh, Maureen here. Come to share a journal with you that I'm going to um, enter in the junk journal junkie, Facebook junk journal junkies swap called Forever in Blue Jeans which was um, to make a small journal, 6x4, two signatures with um, 10 pieces of paper per signature which I've done 11 so it's just a little bit over so um, and also it's to be have a denim cover, be predominantly blue and have a jeans theme, feature jeans, images and adverts and things like that. So so I did it with um, some scrap card inside and covered it with the uh, denim. And I've, uh, I mean denim frays quite a lot but um, instead of wrapping it around to the inside I just left it and I've blanket stitched it all the way around in a navy blue uh, thread and then I've gone over with an orange thread to make it, you know, shows have the orange stitching on jeans. Uh, and on the front I've got some layering, I've got some lace, some gingham uh, with some orange stitching, a little um, vintage advert for Levi's, with these little kids with their overalls on. And then some lace, some blue and some white lace. And on the back I've done a, a gingham patch with some hand stitching around. And then I've done a, with craft text I've made a label, just a free motion embroidered blue jeans journal. Um, because they use craft text, you know, when you get labels on the backs of jeans, it's usually made with uh, craft text. And I've stitched that with uh, some orange stitching as well. I've stitched the, uh, I've sent the stick signatures in with the three hole pamphlet stitch and I've used this kind of gold, almost orangey coloured um, cord um, which I've tied off on the outside because it's quite thick and if you have that in the middle of your signature it's a little bit bulky so I've done it on the outside and then I've uh, just pinned on a couple of garment pins, some little silver beads and a, and a silver button on the back of there and I've got a jeans button on the front and I've done some eyelets to make it look like jeans rivets didn't have any rivets so I've used eyelets and on the back I've used the eyelets to thread this um, this twine through I'm using the twine as a fastener and it's just wrapped around the jeans button at the front um, so you can you know, there's a couple of options you can wrap it right round or you can just wrap it at the front just have it you know dangling down that's up to whoever gets it uh, or you could even change it because that's just uh, threaded through it's not attached um, okay so let's uh, go inside I did denim on the inside as well and again it's um, it's blanket stitched and um, orange top stitched and I've made a, a pocket right across from the front and the back in a, a pale blue polka dot with a with a lace trim. In this front pocket I've got a, a Wrangler jeans advert. Um, it's been printed on a blue index card and then I just used some of this scrap card that I had um, just to make a little tag. Um, some blue writing paper and there's a, a pocket with a make them your own wear them for at least a year wash them too soon and they will shrink oh gosh fancy wearing your jeans for a whole year without washing them and that's printed on a blue index card as well uh, i've done a bit of stamping throughout and um i've stained the papers with um I used some food colouring, just diluted in water and just sprayed on some of the pages. And I also um, tried using some inks, but that didn't, uh, that got a bit messy. So I just used the uh, food colouring, but a couple of the pages have got ink stain on them. Um, and I found this uh, paper on Etsy. It's um, it's called um, Shabby Denim. So it looks like a faded denim with like a pattern on the top. And I've used some uh, fabric and lace throughout to make some tabs on the top of the pages. A little bit of washi, that's like a kind of a 
aqua kind of colour. These are just, you might not be able to see it, but these are very, are, are very lightly um, blue stains. They're not perfectly white pages. That's used in the food colouring spray. Yeah, just a little Lee Riders um, pair of jeans. Stuck it on a paper up there. It's more of the denim look paper. The fabric tab. Some lined paper that's been stained with um, food colouring on there as well. A fabric ruffle, the little Levi's advert which is stapled on. This is um, a cotton fabric but it looks a little bit like denim. So I just made that with a ruffle. In the centre there's a, an envelope. On this side I've got a advert for Lee Riders. Back to school. And that's just got space for journaling on the back. And on the other side is a little advert for Levi's. There's a little guy who's playing uh, playing cowboys. He's hiding behind the, the couch. Uh -huh. On the couch there's the dog having a sleep. And he's watching a he's watching a cowboy film on the TV. So he's playing a little game. So that's quite cute. A little advert. It's more of the denim look paper. Another Levi's advert with a lady on. And that's backed onto some um, like a very pale grey. It was a, a like a paint paint sample. And it was um it's good to find some ladies in the adverts because they a lot of the old adverts like the vintage ones tend to be um like cowboys. But uh, I did find a couple with uh, with ladies on. Another fabric tab, some of the denim paper. Um, not sure what brand of jeans they're advertising, but um, there's a cowboy just having a having a rest. And he's got his jeans on. The fabric tab. Some lined paper, stamping. This is um, food colouring stain as well. A fabric ruffle with some ribbon. The second signature, very similar, same papers used. That's just some writing paper. Pocket with the Lee Riders advert, printed on a blue index card. It's another Levi's advert featuring a lady. Looks a bit 70s that one. And that's backed onto the paint. The paint sample again. And that's a little that's this fabric, a little bit of lace on the front. Stitched on. A little lace tab. And I think this um this blue here is with um with ink, so it's a little bit um darker than the than the food colouring. Fabric tab, more denim look fabric um, paper, stamping, uh, a little bit of um, stenciling, blue ribbon, washi, denim paper, stamping. As I say, you probably can't see it, but these are very, very lightly coloured in blue. Little advert for Red Red Rider, makers of Delmonico. I'm guessing that's jeans. And on this side, another cowboy just leaping over the fence with his lasso, ready to ready to get the horse. Another little fabric tab. More cowboys. Dickie's top hand ranch clothes. more um, staining with the food colouring, lace tab, denim look paper, some more stenciling with the distress ink. And this is ink as well, it's much more, it's much darker than the food colouring, much more vibrant blue there. Denim look paper, 
with a fabric trim that will Lee Riders advert. Some washi tape. Another advert for Lee Riders. And a space for journaling on the back of there. Lined paper, denim look paper, writing paper, and that's uh, lightly stained as well. And in the back pocket, just a piece of scrap and right on the back of that. And a, a tab that's just been stenciled with some distress ink in the blue. So that's that. Um, so I hope you like that and I hope whoever gets it in the swap will like it as well. It's uh, it's quite soft but it's um, sturdy. And um, this is a really nice size, this 6x4, you can just hold them really nicely in your hand. So I'm glad, I'm glad I made that one. So, uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.